everybody, I'm JJ Johnson, you're watching Reality Survival. So today I just wanted to go over a question that I've recently gotten a couple of different times and it's essentially asking about um, storing gasoline, okay? And so I, I recently picked up four of these metal um, uh, jerry cans off of Amazon and I thought it would be a good time to talk a little bit about storing gasoline, what I know about it. Um, what my experiences have been doing that and uh, these gas cans are pretty cool they're they're they were basically twenty dollars a piece they were eighty dollars for four of them um, they've got a pin that locks you know the, the, the lid locks down nice and tight so it's got a good it's got a good rubber seal um, right here it's also got the vent tube so it flows good you know that kind of stuff obviously I have not filled these with gasoline yet so I can't say I can't comment on how well you know that aspect of them they do but um, they seem very well constructed to me um, then they've got a heavy-duty metal spout it's got a rubber uh, end and then you know this actually locks in with a really thick good rubber seal here so spout goes on like that and it's locked into place so pretty cool um, and I thought it was a pretty decent price gas cans are expensive so even for the regular cheap five gallon ones at you know like Home Depot and stuff you're gonna pay about 18 19 bucks a piece and they're probably not gonna last as long and be you know quite as good as these are you know they, they get a lot of swelling and contracting and all that kind of stuff but as far as gas storage goes, um, and I, I will throw the link, the Amazon link to these down in the description below if you guys are interested. Um, as far as storing gasoline goes, um, I have typically um, just kept mine in five gallon uh, gas cans. And what I do is I add PRIG every September. And that has worked really well for me. Uh, I've got gas in, in my gas cans now that I recently um, just tested, put it into uh, our generator and fired it up and it was still working after two years um, sitting in storage. Now, and, and no signs of any rough running or anything like that. And that was just regular old, it, was, it had uh, I think 10% ethanol in it, just regular old unleaded gas. And uh, adding the PRIG seems to work, you know, for extending the life. I know a lot of people will say without putting any kind of additive in there, you only get six months to a year. And I think largely that really depends on the storage conditions and how you store it. Um, with gasoline, you want to store in as temperature stable of an environment as possible. Um, the uh, the temperature variances cause condensation in the can and then that's what gets water in it and stuff like that and that um, helps to degrade the situation and make it even worse um, so one of the things you want to do when you're filling gas cans up is make sure you fill them as high as you can so there's no air or space left in there in there for the gases and everything to evaporate as well uh, partially full cans are gonna they're gonna the fumes are going to evaporate and um, the stuff that's left will become kind of thicker and more it'll gum up your carburetors and stuff like that easier at least that's my understanding um, like I said before I haven't had any issues with ethanol gas when I'm using the PRIG some people say that if you uh, have eth gas with ethanol, ethanol in it that it'll go bad really fast and it won't work I'm not sure that that is necessarily true. I think a lot of it has more to do with the storage conditions and, and trying to store it in the right area. Um, like I said, in a kind of a temperature uh, stable environment. Um, let's see. Uh, I've heard that stable is pretty good stuff too. I haven't personally used that. I've always used the PRIG. Uh, I'll also put some links down to uh, stable and PRIG in the description below as well. Um, but I, I know from personal experience, like I said, that, that the stuff works at least two years out. Um, m my suspicions is it'll probably go at least another year or so because it, it still smells just like gas. It still runs fine in the generator and 
you know, I don't, I don't see any signs of it degrading um, anytime real quick. But um, I will continue this kind of testing cycle and let you know how far out, you know, we can take it. Um, but you know, even if you use two years as a general guide, I think that's a pretty good storage life. And then just recycle it through your mowers and your car, or whatever the case may be. Put new stuff in, and you'll, you know, probably be good to go. Um, as far as how much gasoline to store, I think that's a good question that you basically have to look at your own plan and you have to decide, okay, well, what am I going to use the gas for? Is it going to be just for generator um, or is it going to be for filling up a vehicle to get to a bug out location and having enough you know, gas to get there without having to stop along the way? If that's the case, then you really just need to do a simple math equation to figure out how much gas you're going to need to get to your location. You know. Um, so it's really kind of a personal thing. I can't really say too much about how much you actually need to have. Um, for me personally, I have up until this point always kept six, I've always kept 30 gallons of gas, basically six five gallon cans. Um, and I decided to bump it up a little bit uh, extra um, since we're kind of more rural area out here now and we may have to have a generator for a longer period like ice storms or snowstorms or something so I added an additional 20 gallons uh, to that so I'll be up around 50 that I'll have just on hand in cans um, but you know it's it's really just something you have to look at your own situation so anyway I thought these were a pretty good buy and they look like they're constructed very well um, again I, I haven't um, I haven't put gas in them yet, so I, I can't say for sure, but I can say that, you know, they seem very heavy duty. Um, I like the latch system. It looks like it's going to work out really good as far as, um, get that up there, as far as sealing it up nice and tight and, um, you know, keeping the gas from the, the vapors and all that kind of stuff from leaking out. This pin is a little bit of a, a little bit of a booger to put in there, but I'm sure it'll get better with time. There we go. But again, you know that just holds it down in there, so you know that it's locked in place and it's all sealed up real good. So, pretty cool can. Just thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, seems like a good deal to me. So. Anyway, guys, I hope that's helpful, and I hope it answers the questions that I had in the comments uh, regarding how to store gasoline, and that's what I do, um, and that's really the best that I can tell you about it. I don't know that there's too much more to offer uh, on storing gasoline, but anyway, guys, as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and don't forget to live the six Ps, proper prior preparation, prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys. Thank <laughs> you.